I know. I'm late to the party. I woke up from a blissful ignorance that I cannot get back to. And now I'm a little pissed. The infamous concept of privilege has been grinding my gears a little. And I realize that I cannot stay silent. Therefore, I made this channel. And therefore, this video. And today, I have beef with privilege. The concept of privilege has a bunch of different problems that pretty much defeats the purpose of having this sort of concept in general. For one, it generalizes large groups of people. It doesn't take into consideration that people in groups are still individuals. Privilege will just take no prisoners. And for the social justice people, this is good because they don't have to do a lot of math to count all those who are more privileged in that group than the rest. There's never a benchmark of how big of a scale we're looking at this group of people. And in some definitions that I've read, they basically imply that just because you're in, fit into a certain group, you are automatically privileged which is very unfair to the individual. Privilege has no individuality. It ties into the next issue, which is privilege is based on stereotypes. Have you ever read privilege checklists and facepalmed throughout the whole list? Almost every other, if not all of the list is based on some sort of stereotype. For one, I read the male privilege, where men are supposedly privilege in the sense that they're not expected to change their last name after marriage. But let's disregard the fact that women do not mind this for the most part. And if they do, they can voice it and they don't have to take the surname that they are offered. I'm pretty sure in many countries you can be married but under different surnames. Another stereotype is that if men fuck up in some way, it's not attributed to their gender. They can screw around and not be called whores. So on and so forth. And you can find these stereotypes in every checklist. I guess one of the oldest checklists is the white privilege checklist. But Peggy McIntosh was smart enough to write that this checklist, in her opinion, applies to her situation. But regardless... There were a bunch of things that are very insignificant, such as she can easily find an apartment in the neighborhood she wants and all that stuff. And she mostly made sure to have this checklist in a racial context, disregarding the other criteria that apply to privilege. Another issue is that privilege is very subjective. Uh, I cannot even express this. And we, this is very easily seen with those who use and utilize the concept of privilege to their benefit. They will accuse anyone and everyone who they deem has some kind of privilege. And they will probably do it without any real reason. And the accusations of your privilege are going to be their interpretation of your situation. Which is, again, it's something that this narrow vision... Of they see you, you fit into this group. Therefore, I can util utilize the stereotypical things that are about your type of people. For women, it's men. If I, as a woman, will see someone who is a man, I can easily just tell him, check your privilege because you're a man. Just because you're a man. Another issue is too many variables. If privilege can be very broad, it can also be very narrow. And this is where the problems again start. By logic, if, you, if there's a white privilege, there's also a white male privilege, a white curly hair privilege or something, maybe first world privilege, that should be a thing. Third world privilege, no. You get the point. There can be many variations. It can be something very big, and it can be something very, very small. And again, that's very bad, because that just makes a lot of confusion. If you have so many things to attribute to, how are you going to make sense of it? How are you going to categorize it? What is the criteria? What is the prerequisite of the list? What you take into consideration? So that people are not so involuntarily dragged into something or accused of something that they're not. This is probably one of the biggest issues that I see with the concept of privilege, which is that privilege is very biased. And uh, 
We can see this with the fact that there's white privilege, but nobody talks about black privilege or Asian privilege or Indian privilege. There is a upper middle class privilege, but there's not lower class or poor people privilege. There's male privilege, but female privilege somehow is a very difficult topic and it probably doesn't exist at all. There is cisgender privilege, but there is not transgender or non-binary people privilege. I mean, for them, one privilege could be they, c they, are, they can go into whatever bathroom they want. Men can only go into their designated bathrooms, right? Because it's biased, the legitimacy of the con this concept kind of crumbles. You realize how unfair it is to those who are accused for no good reason. I think the biggest pitfall for privilege, however, is that it's very vague. In a sense that they're, they don't have a goal. Other than exposing inequality, social injustice amongst groups of people that I think everyone knew already. It's not that people are unaware of their privilege. They're not privileged in the social justice realm of things. Because the moment you call someone privileged, you always have to remember that this is just only one way. Just because someone is white doesn't mean that they're privileged. They have some racial benefits to them, some. But that doesn't mean that just because they're white, therefore they're privileged. White female is not as privileged as a white male. And is not as privileged as a black male. Because the black guy is still a male. Do you see where I'm going with this? The Privilege just completely, it has no goal. Just because I acknowledge something doesn't mean that therefore I'm going to change something. It also kind of, ex the underprivileged expect those supposedly privileged to fix some kind of imaginary problem. Of course they will never give them guidelines how to fix something. They will just cry out, you are privileged, check your privilege. And that's it. How is this, in the grand scheme of things, how is this going to help you who supposedly is underprivileged. I think it won't. I think you still will be underprivileged and then you will be able to cry some more. And therefore, if you, do, if you can cry about how underprivileged you are, you will become privileged. And those who you accuse of being the opposite of you cannot do that because they have too many benefits. The last thing that I've noticed is that it's incredibly selfish. In a sense that those who accuse people of having benefits will always say that it's unearned benefit. That it's never granted, it's never earned, you never acquire, it's just something that you have. And I find that to be very crippling. It strips away the accused one of any rights to defend themselves. Those who are accused of being privileged have nothing to go on. It's like being tied to a stake and burnt alive, almost. They're roasted just by being a certain way, and they don't mean any harm. The average person, however privileged they are, will not mean harm to those who are underprivileged. Yes, they will feel bad, but they will acknowledge that they, too, in many ways, are underprivileged. I'm not undermining that privilege doesn't exist. It's just that it's really, it's exploited in a very bad way. It is misunderstood. And privilege is not something of race or gender or anything of that. I think privilege really bases itself on how much money you have and how many connections you have. I think that's the base, that's all. It's very simple. Just like in the simplest definition, it's a special right or benefit granted or made available to a person or a group. Only to a person or a group. And I think it should be left at that. You don't need to go into intricate detail about what it could be. That defeats the purpose. It becomes too complicated and nobody will take their time to understand unless they're very obsessed about it. Overall, I hope I made some sense into this. I hope you learned something. I'm sorry for this all over the place thing. Maybe over time, I'll be better. Until then, be happy with your privilege.